Hello everyone and welcome to Jackalit Educational Channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss some of the important tricks to understand and remember the International Organization of Standardization Number. So yes, ISO number it is very difficult and complicated because it is around 20 numbers which are coming in the environmental science exam and it can confuse any of you. So aaj hum sikhenge bahut hi important tricks for that you will be able to solve this kind of questions within seconds so let's see how to remember this trick so this is the table representing many of the important iso number with their guidelines so what are they depicting it is mentioned in right hand side and in left hand side it is the number which is given by the international organization of standardization so you have to remember the full form also that is iso So we will start and we will discuss only the important tricks which you can use and the points which are important for the environmental science exam. So I start. First, we will start with the ISO 14006. Se. So you have to remember ISO 14006 provides the guideline for incorporating eco design. So eco design means it can be in architecture sector or we can take that eco design in the field of marketing. in the field of furniture it can be anything which is environment friendly and sustainably managing the environment so i would like to say that you should mark here that iso 140 is common everywhere after that the numbers are changed that is the last two digit number so you have to remember this last last two digit numbers only so let's see for this eco design for eco design i have made the trick that you have to remember how many alphabets are there in design so d e s i g n that constitute six alphabets that's why iso 14006 will determine eco design so i think it is simple like that let's come to the iso 14010 so here we have to include our cricketing knowledge yes those who are connected with cricket they will be able to understand and those are not also they will be easily able to understand why because number 10 so all you will be knowing that 10 number jersey was the jersey number of sachin ramesh tendulkar yes tendulkar you can remember that way or you can remember 10 means tendulkar so what tendulkar will do that he is retired now but he will do the environmental auditing so he will do the cricketing auditing you should remember so he will come to the ground and he will audit whether the bcci is working correctly or not whether the correct players are selected or not so this all auditing that is the managing checking of all the cricketers current cricketers will be done by tendulkar that will be 14010 that is 10 number so i think now it is also clear next coming to the iso 14011 so after tendulkar does the auditing what will be the procedures so he will have its own procedure so next one that is plus 1 of 10 is 11 so all the procedures will be taken by the tendulkar so plus 1 will be audit procedures next what will be the so iso 14012 so after the auditing tendulkar comes and uses its audit procedure he will qualify some of the players for the international cricket दोज विल प्ले फॉर इंडिया जो इंडिया के लिए खेलेंगे उनको क्वालिफाई कौन कराएगा आई एस ओ वन फोर जीरो वन टू सो टेन तेंदुलकर विल कम फॉर ऑडिटिंग इलेवन फॉर ऑडिट प्रोसीजर्स यू विल एडोप्ट नेक्स्ट यू विल क्वालिफाई सम ऑफ द क्रिकेटर्स सो वन फोर जीरो वन जीरो वन फोर जीरो वन 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 फोर जीरो वन टू एंड वन फोर डबल जीरो सिक्स आर क्लियर टिल नाउ नाउ वी विल कम टू वन फोर जीरो टू जीरो सो दिस सीरीज डील्स विथ एनवायरमेंटल लेबल्स and declaration so what are these labels so aapko pata hoga labels we should have that recycling labels some of them are eco friendly labels so in the products we are having different logos and labels so all these labels and declarations are coming under the iso 14020 so you have to remember this this series is for eco labeling next is 14021 so how to remember 14021 is the self declared environmental claims so this is simple because as we are talking about the cricketers that are men cricketer so you should know in india legal age for boys for marriage is 21 so 21 is they are self declaring that they are now eligible for marriage so this may sound pretty weird but you have to remember this so 21 age is for the marriage age so they are self declaring that they are able to marry now so the next important thing is iso 14022 so how to remember that this is also related to cricket so you will be knowing that the 22 yard is the pitch size so used to say from one wickets to other wickets 
the size is 22 yards so yards from yards you have to remember the first alphabet is y and y denotes the symbol of victory so it is a symbol so that's why you have to remember 14022 22 yards y for victory is a symbol next we will discuss one of the important iso that is iso 14030 so i am leaving this iso so you have to remember this but i don't have any tricks for them so next is iso 14030 so the last three digits are 0 3 and 0 here also first two alphabets are environmental performance evaluation so e e so here e e let's consider inside this zero that is e and e that is environmental and evaluation so what about this three so performance so that means the cricketer who is performing in three formats that is test one day and t20 will be called as the higher performance cricketer so it is having high performance so those who is showing performance in three formats that is three will be considered as the best cricketer so that's why performance means three three formats one four zero three zero is environmental performance evaluation let's come to the next slide next slide i have prepared separately because it is associated with life cycle assessment so all you will be knowing that ISO 140-2006 is related to life cycle assessment. So you have to remember that if you are going to start anything or any concept, you have to be thorough with the principle and you have to know the framework. So that's why first thing is principle and framework. So first ISO 140-40 will be a standard on principle and framework. Next will be 14041. That means the next step in the life cycle assessment chart, as you can see here, is life cycle inventory analysis. And the next step in life cycle assessment after inventory is life cycle impact assessment. So the next point will be 14042 life cycle impact assessment. Similarly, it will be followed by 14043 that is life cycle interpretation. So if you know the sequence of LCA, you will be able to remember just have to remember 14040 standard principle then carry on the number according to the steps of LCA. Now I am going to tell you one important thing that is ISO 14050. So, so here it is signifying the terms of fundamental concepts related to environmental management. So main thing is fundamental. So how to remember this? Fundamental the first alphabet is F. So F for 5. Next is U and D A that is fundamental you can say under means zero so five zero we have got from fundamental words first two alphabets then you can see one four zero five zero is the ISO for terms of fundamental concepts related to environmental management next is one four zero six zero so this is also important how we have to remember we have to remember that after sixty years that is senior citizen is the age of sixty years so we are what we are doing most of the people are not taking care and they are excluding the poor people but what we have to do we have to guide them and we have to include them so we have to include those 60 plus age people and guide them because of the environmental aspects in the product standard so you have to remember we have to include the 60 years old and guide them that's why ISO 14060 next we have to remember ISO 14064 so here the last two alphabets are 64 and I will remind you that in 2014 Phil Hughes of Australian cricket passed away because he was struck by the ball and his jersey number was 64 so that's why the Australian cricket has reduced the number that means they have banned the number 64 they are not giving it to any other player in Australian cricket in memory of Phil Hughes so 64 that's why we have to remember reducing GHG and measuring quantifying of greenhouse gas which is very sad thing which is very bad thing and very sad thing happened for Phil Hughes. So that's all in this part of the video I hope you like this if you like this comment me in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now.